Hello and welcome everyone to Pokemon Ultra Moon Post Game Guide. Today, I would like to talk about all the Pokemon you can find in the green Ultra Wormholes in the Ultra Warp Ride. Primarily, the legendary Pokemon. And why green wormholes, you may ask? Well, because it's the only set of wormholes that doesn't require any legendary Pokemon to be in your party already to encounter something. Also, green is my favorite color. But I guess that's only a, merely a coincidence. But before we get started, you should have a good amount of Ultra Balls, which you can get at any Pokemon Center, Quick Balls and Dusk Balls, which are found on Aquila Island at the Pokemon Center on Route 8, and Timer Balls, which are found in the Pineolia Towns Pokemon Center and in the Thrifty Mega Mart in Royal Avenue, when both places are also on Aquila Island. Now. There are other types of Pokeballs, but these but these Pokeballs that I mentioned earlier are the best ones that have worked for me. You will also want on your team a Pokemon that has the move False Swipe, and a move that gives the Sleep or Paralysis status effect. Now moves that also affect Gross type Pokemon will help when you are going after legendaries that have the Ghost typing, because False Swipe won't affect them. But since none are found in green wormholes, we won't worry about them in this video. Now, I would like to tell you a couple of basic tips for navigating the Ultra Warp Ride. Firstly, collect as many speed up orbs as possible, and avoid any electric orbs that slow you down. If you do get hit by an electric orb, you will need to collect two more speed up orbs in order to regain your previous speed. Secondly, you can avoid wormholes that you don't want to go into by returning to the center of the warp ride, where no wormholes appear. By letting go of the circle pad, or pressing the A button if you're still using the gyro controls, instead of the circle pad. Now to switch between gyro and circle pad controls, you just need to talk to the Aether Paradise Scientist in the Game Freak building, at Hey Hey City on Aquila Island. Okay. Now I will quickly go over the standard Pokemon that you find in Green Wormholes, and the method for hunting down a shiny variant. Now for the standard Pokemon, the game determines if the encounter is shiny when you enter the wormhole. So for a standard Pokemon, you can't soft reset the game for a shiny standard Pokemon. You will just have to go as far as you can in the warp ride, and hope that you get a standard shiny. The standard Pokemon that you can find in the green wormholes are Nuzleaf, Grumpig, Drapion, Audino, and Heliolisk. Now with legendary Pokemon though, you only get the encounter once. So you can, you, it's best to save your game and soft reset if you're looking for a shiny. So that's the only difference between standard and legendary Pokemon. Now. There are four legendary Pokemon that are version exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Sun. And I have them here in the PC because of an event that happened in 2019. Those Pokemon are Raikou, Dialga, Reshiram, and Xerneas. Now Entei and Zekrom are exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Moon. And we will be looking for them in this video, along with these other Pokemon that you can get in either game, which is Mewtwo, the Swords of Justice, which are Cobalion, Terrakion, and Vir Virizion. Now with that being said, let's see which legendary we meet first. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, as I was recording my uh, attempts at getting Ultra Beasts in the Ultra Wormhole, I had stumbled upon finding this uh, legendary Pokemon. And I found out that if I were to run away from it, like go back into here and go home, I would lose the encounter. A uh, good thing I saved already. So here we are. This is Zekrom, everyone. And so we're just gonna go through me catching Zekrom right now. I don't really have a the best party for going up against them, but we'll just go ahead and try to catch it. I'll start with a quick ball. Hopefully it goes in that. But if not, we got Ultra Balls, I'm pretty sure. We can do this. Oh, listen to that music. Why, well, hello, Zekrom. You... Welcome to the team, firstly. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Because there's only one in every game. Terrivolt. Okay, that's a great ability. 
Um, let's see here. Um, let's try a quick ball at it. Quick ball, please. Here we go. Totally is... That's totally black and white music here. Okay. Kinda knew that one isn't going to work, but I thought it was worth a shot anyway. Alright. Um... I guess we'll just go ahead and, uh, false swipe. I don't know. I don't think, um, Magnezone's paralysis is going to work really well on it, but perhaps we should try it. Zen headbutt. Ooh. Okay. Garchomp took that like a champ. Awesome. Do I dare throw in... Let's put in Magnezone quickly just to see if we, we can throw off a Thunder Wave at it. It might be because it's also electric type, it might not be able to work. But let's just try it anyway. Can you withstand a Zen Headbutt? Oh yeah, you took like a like champ. Good job, Magnezone! Yeah, Alright, here we go, a Thunder Wave. Yeah, it doesn't affect me. It kind of thought so. Kind of thought so. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Well, kind of figured that wouldn't work with Garcha with the uh, Magnezone, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. Let's go back. Continue to false swipe. Sadly, I don't have anything to give it a status effect. Sadly. Ow. It used a dragon type move on me. Well, okay. Um, let's do another false swipe and then we'll heal because I think we can withstand another one of those. I think. All right, let's throw some heals its way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, not quite enough to give him full health. Ooh, yeah, he doesn't affect Garchomp because he is a, ro a ground boy. He's a ground type. I guess I could try a Dusk Ball. I guess I could also do one more false swipe. Let's see if this works. Nope. Didn't think so. One more false swipe just for good measure. And we'll try an Ultra Ball this time. Oh yeah. That's right. We avoided a move. Sweet. Alright. We're not quite far enough to get into Timer Balls. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. <laughs> Didn't even shake once. <laughs> uh, okay then, alright. Uh, I guess we could use one of our Master Balls on it, but I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Should I use a nest ball on it? <laughs> we are 30 levels higher than it. This for S and G's, let's do it. <laughs> it shook once! Okay. Another Dusk Ball. Come on, stay inside this one. Nope. Man, I wish I had something that can give it a status effect. Because that would be so much handier. I mean, yes, we're not really in a cave, are we? Oh no. What would be the best thing? I guess we could start throwing tire balls at it and see if that works.
Ooh, there he goes using Dragon Claw. Ouch! We might just have to use that Master Ball. I'd rather not, though. Well, there's other ways to get him. Ugh. Didn't even shake once. I think we're gonna have to rely on timer balls. Come on, go for it! Nope. Didn't even shake once. Man, if only I had something that could put it to sleep. Oh, I think we got it! Yeah, we caught a Zekrom, Valerie! My daughter decided to come in halfway through while catching this Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, we, we leveled up a Garchomp too. Sweet! Megazone is also a game Wait, level. Alright, Zekrom, there we are. Is he getting a Dex entry? Nope, he isn't. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. That is how you find Zekrom. I found it by accident, but there we go. Okay, now we've just caught Zekrom, the dragon and electric type legendary Pokemon. Let's go see what we can find next in the green ultra wormholes. Oh, here's one with one ring. Let's go in. All right, uh, 2,000 light years. Oh, good. We got that presence of overwhelming power. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and I think we should save first actually. Let's let's go and do that. Okay, saving done. Let's go see what we got. Ooh, it's that looks like. <laughs> is it? I think it is. I think that's Terrakian right up there. One of the Swords of Justice. Oh man, listen to that old school music. Yep, that's that's Terrakion, the rock and fighting type, if I remember correctly. Okay, so uh, do it true to form. Let's go ahead and throw a quick ball just to see if it goes in that. Yeah, of course, nine times out of ten, it doesn't really go in there. But it's it's nif it's fun to see when it when it does happen. Yeah, it's fun to see when it does happen. So, false swipe, here we go. And, uh, yeah, it's using some rock moves on us, which aren't very effective at all, because we're dragging and ground with Garchomp. We are getting closer and closer to where we can actually throw Pokeballs at it. But I think we should try paralyzing it, because I don't think it's, uh, <laughs> immune to it, like... Zekrom was. Zekrom had an electric typing, so that's why he wasn't able to get hit with. <laughs> yeah, that's why he wasn't able to get hit with Thunder Wave. So let's go ahead. Oh, he's that Sacred Sword. That's what that move was. I saw it earlier and I didn't recognize what it was. Okay. Thunder Wave worked like a charm. Excellent. We will have. We get. We get that paralysis on there. Excellent. Okay, switching back because <laughs> really we can't do much, especially if he has ground type moves. That would hurt Magnazone a lot. <laughs> Another so the other sort of justice move or sacred sword or whatever it's called. Back to our rinsing, repeating, false swiping. I think there's one more, and then we're ready to check Pokeballs at it. Bam! Oh, 
Okay, starting off with an Ultra Ball because I think that's the best kind to start off with. Nah, nope. <laughs> okay, he likes to break free. Another Stone Edge, but with Pokemon Refresh, we made him avoid that. That's good. <laughs> okay, we're just giving him a little bit of heals just so that we can keep going. Keep throwing Pokeballs, keep taking hits. No, oh, that didn't do all of his health. Oh, oh well. We'll just... We'll wait till his health goes down a little bit further before we give him another more healing item. Let's uh, do... Oh, another Ultra Ball. Sure, we'll see what that does. Nope. Okay. Let's see. What, what Pokeball do I want to find? Let's try a... Yeah, Dusk Ball is probably a good idea. Timer Ball is not quite there yet because we need to wait 10 turns before it takes effect. I've never been able to keep track when 10 turns happen though, so... <laughs> okay, well, we're going for that Timer Ball anyway. <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, not at all. We do have quite some time when we're doing this. Keep throwing balls at it. It takes him quite a while to get in there. But, that being said, we're just going to keep checking balls and healing up whenever we need to. Because, really, it's just an inevitability before he goes into a Pokeball. But, that's where it's good to have a good stock of these in hand. I usually stop, make sure I have 30 of each type of ball that I like to use. And that typically is enough to, so I don't run out. But those things can get expensive. So if I didn't make a video on it, then Austin John Plays has. <laughs> There's probably a video out there about how to get money in Pokemon so Ultra Sun and, Mul and Ultra Moon. Yeah, there probably is a video out there of how to make money in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So there's some best options. I can't recall them at the moment, though. Oh well. Yeah. Ah, well, more heals for Garchomp. Another Hyper Persian. Maybe I should use something more than that. Okay, another Pokeball. What do we got? What are we going to try this time? A Great Ball. Just kidding. <laughs> An Ultra Ball will be fine. Mm. Wow. Well, this Terrakion does not want to stay in a Pokeball. Let's try a different one. <laughs> a Nest Ball. I thought that since it's based on level, and my Garchomp is fairly high leveled. Nope. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, obviously. It only works on really low level Pokemon, so... So, no. But I was just... Me being silly, I suppose. Get in this Dusk Ball, though. Come on. Keeps breaking out. Another time of ball. Will it go in this one? Nope. <laughs> oh, jeepers. Come on, you're paralyzed. You should go in a ball easily. Okay, well, another Ultra Ball this time. It takes a while to go through all of those different balls. I probably should have just had them all organized right next to each other. But of course, I'm not going to learn from that. Because <laughs> all this footage has already been <laughs> recorded. Uh, so, but that would be a good idea to do, is to reorganize your a bag so that all the Pokeballs you like to use are in succession of one another. And then you won't have to scroll through so many things. Oh, Swords Dance, so great. Terrakion's attack has <laughs> gotten a lot stronger. Ah, Terrakion. Get in this Dusk Ball, please. Come on. Nope. 
But okay then. <laughs> this still goes on for like three more minutes. So maybe I should just cut through all the rest of this. Well, maybe not three more minutes, but he's getting close. That timer ball. Oh, yeah, that attack power has gone up a lot substantially. <laughs> Let's uh, give him some heals. Oh, Garchomp. Yeah, max potion would be best. Here you go. Thrilled the bits. Glad to hear it. Now let's see how Trachyon wasn't able to move. Maybe that would have been the best turn to give. To throw a Pokeball at it. Oh well. Yeah, repeat balls. I don't already have one. Friend ball. Ha. Huh. I don't know if that... I never really used a friend ball. I don't know how effective it is. Probably not that effective. It only has a secondary effect of once the Pokeball is inside the Pokeball. And stays there. So, uh, it's not really useful for catching. Oh, we caught, finally caught in an Ultra Ball. Finally, we caught Terrakion. Well, okay. All right, we got some Expecia, Greninja. Well, some level ups are happening. Uh, who cares? What's most important is that we caught Terrakion. Uh, which we give a nickname to track in? No, and he's been sent to a box. No dex entry because no national dex. But that's how we catch Terrakion. The rock and fighting type Swords of Justice character. And we'll catch you again when we encounter the next legendary Pokemon in Green Wormholds. Okay, here we go. A two ringed wormhole. And yeah, let's see what we get in here. Inside here. All right. 3,000-ish light years away, we find overwhelming presence again! Yes! So, that means we find another... Oh, I... I thought I didn't save, but I did right here! Okay, good. Save your game. <laughs> it's important to do so. Now... We find... Which is this? I think it's Verizon Wireless. I mean, just kidding. Uh, it's Verizion. I think that's how you pronounce that one. I'm not sure, but okay! Here we go. Uh, again, we are graced with that old school black and white theme. Generation 5. And we leave with Garchomp. Now, here I, I decide quickly that I should just try and see. Uh, no, first we gotta throw a quick ball, that's right. <laughs> we always gotta try that quick ball first because it might stay in, who knows. And of course it doesn't. Oh, it's got Giga Drain. I'm being ground type. Okay, avoid the move. Good, good, good. Okay, so Verision is <laughs> grass and fighting, and the only other time we've seen that fight that typing before was with Breloom from Generation 3. So that's cool. Alright, we're gonna try using Thunder Wave on it, but I was thinking at the time I was thinking, but perhaps it won't work at all because it's grass type. Sometimes they have an immunity towards electric type moves. So, oh, bam. Oh, that's surprising. It actually worked. Okay. Cool. All right. So I guess we'll just switch back into Garchomp just to use those wonderful, wonderful false swipes as we uh, have been doing as per late to capture all these other Pokemon. Just goes into Swords Dance. Okay, you bring up its attack. That's that's cool. So um, we are thirty-ish levels of higher than it. So <laughs> oh, that did a lot of damage. Good job. Now that Giga Drain is gonna be problematic though if it keeps bringing back its health. Oh, not by that. Okay, not by not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Another false swipe, and we're almost ready to start throwing Pokeballs at it. All right, one last false swipe. Okay, we're gonna start, of course, with our tried and true Ultra Ball, and see if we get in there. We catch a lot of these creatures in Ultra Balls, to be honest, but that's why it's one of my favorite things. And no, it shook for quite a long time, though. I, I was almost, I almost thought it was gonna catch. Uh. Well, 
We're gonna go with the Dusk Ball now and see if it goes into there. No. Okay, well, uh, this video has been pretty long already. I think what I'm going to do is I'll cut out all the menus and just keep showing off all the attempts of Pokeballs that I throw in here, but I'm not gonna do any more talking. I'll let you, I'm gonna put in my description timestamps for every Pokemon that we've encountered so far, just in case you guys don't want to watch the entirety of, you know, oh, that, that attack was crazy. <laughs> just in case you guys don't want to watch the entirety of the, of the fight. And, you know, me trying to do things. If anything of note shows up, then I'll give it a shot. But, uh, I'll, I'll talk, I'll point out and talk about it a little bit. But, otherwise, it's just a reg, all, all the same things that we've done so far. But I guess I'll meet you guys when we finally catch this thing, or if something cool happens during the fight. Alright, I think Garchomp has had enough of a beating for one <laughs> session. He just keeps- I had to throw so many max potions at his face, I think I almost ran out. So, you know, it's always good to have your Pokemon as high as HP as possible to catch Pokemon. It's also good to bring in a type advantage. So, you know, Garchomp being ground type wasn't very great for the grass type version and his leaf blade and giga drain oh my gosh but um we're gonna see how things go with my chandelier here sadly i can't really rely on what's it called uh, oh wow <laughs> that was a pretty big attack my goodness okay well healing him up At least it didn't use Giga Drain on me, but I think it's out of Giga Drains by now. So, don't think I have anything to worry about that. Let's go ahead and use a Timer Ball on it and see if it catches. Hmm, no. Well, I guess that might be that theory out the window because, oh my gosh, this thing has done so many sick sword dances that it's attack status through the freaking roof. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's persevere. Let's keep going. No good, it's fighting type move doesn't hurt its ghost typing, so that's all also handy. Alright, we're gonna go for another Pokeball. Ultra Ball, here we go. Oof, so close. Come on, go in this one. Yes! We finally got him. <laughs> oh gosh, where is he on? You are so hard. This one was such a difficult capture. But, I guess you guys saw how long that took. That was a, the longest one so far. No nickname for you. Alright. Off to a box for him. And, yeah. That's Verisian, guys. <laughs> and let's go and find the next Pokemon that you can find in the green wormholes. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. We are coming on our next wormhole, one ring, and I think we have two more Pokemon to find in these green wormholes, that being Mewtwo and Entei. So let's see what we got here. 2,900 
And we, oh, there we go. We got an overwhelming power. We got overwhelming presence. Words. Okay, save your game, of course, of course. And what do we got? It's Mewtwo. Most excellent. Okay. Well, let's go rinse and repeat what we have just already have done for all these other encounters. Oh, wow, this music. Man, this takes me back. Now, I can't really tell. <clears throat> Of course, quick ball to see if it goes in. Doubtful, but we'll try it anyway. There's a small chance. I can't remember which game this, which version of Kanto this music's from. Is it original red and blue? Or red and green? Or is it a, like fire red and leaf green? I can't tell. But anyway. Let's try to giving it that status ailment. I'm pretty sure Mewtwo has recovered, which makes him a p big pain in the booty. But, uh, that being said, that, that's what makes this fight a little bit more challenging. We'll at least get him down to his low HP, and then we'll probably speed past all the throws. Because, you know, throwing a Pokeball, is, you go through a lot to catch a legendary. And... Uh, and we, this video is already 30 minutes long, so we'll probably speed through that. Alright, Garchomp's turn. Let's let him do his thing. Well, <laughs> let's see, <laughs> of course, what we have him in here for, the false swipe. Because paralysis worked, thankfully. There was no real concern that it wasn't going to, because Mewtwo's pure psychic, so... Yeah, that's the thing. All right. Yeah, there he goes with that. He recovered our first false swipe. I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, he's just keep it, keep on going with recover. Well, you know, I think he only has 10 PP for that, or is it 15? Even so, that's a long time. Yeah, there you go again. Recover, recover, recover. Wow, this might be a long time getting his HP down. Okay, he actually used the move, Psycho Cut! But, you know, even if we were to get him down to almost red, he can use one recover and get himself back all the way up. Okay, we got him! That's as far as we want him down for HP anyway. So, he's not... I don't think he needs to recover. Let's try using an Ultra Ball on him right now. Yeah, as I thought. It wouldn't go in the first one. But he's paralyzed, can't move. We could try a different Pokeball. Let's go for a Dusk Ball. Yep, still, it shook more in that one, so that was really close. I think, though, at this point, we we know how far this is going to be. This is going to take us another couple minutes if I let it run all the way through. At least another 5 to 10. So, uh, let's just skip past that. We'll speed up through it, and I'll show you guys, yeah. We definitely also still need to heal up Garchomp. I don't think I have a super effective party member to make it better, either. And we need to have someone with False Swipe, just in case he uses Recover again. Which he might. So, we'll speed through this and get to the point where we actually catch the Pokémon. Because, yeah, catching Legendaries is never really a walk in the park. It's never really easy. But, as long as you have all the right Pokéballs, you it, it's, it's a matter of eventuality. And as long as you have saved before, you can always start over again. All right, see you when we catch it.
<laughs> now at this point, there's really no shame in going for that Master Ball if he... Because <laughs> Mewtwo is used to recover like four times. But we finally caught him. Yes! So, and Mewtwo's a really hard legendary. So there, really, there's no shame if you've run out of all of your Pokeballs to go ahead and use that Master Ball on him. Uh, and really for any other legendary, if that's if that's what you end up. But really, Master Ball should be a last resort. Anyway, let's go see if we can find our last Pokemon that is in Green Wormholes. See you in a bit. Alright, let's go find another wormhole. Alright, there we go. A two-ringed wormhole. Awesome. Let's see how far we took the... How far away we are this time. How about 3.5 thousand light years away? Alright. Another overwhelming presence. Let's go see what it is, of course. Save up first. There we go. Done saving. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, that's Entei. Now, I believe... I forgot to mention there's one more after this. I forgot all about Cobalion. Whoops. Oh well, let's get Entei right now. And then we'll go take care of that other one. Whoo, man. This music, man. So, so retro. Takes me back to Gen 2. That's when I started playing Pokemon as a whole. I started in Gen 2. Yeah, I'm not a Gen 1-er, but oh well. <laughs> Still good. Alright, well, let's of course start with a quick ball and see if it goes in. That's always a good thing to try to do. I will always recommend that every time. And of course, most of the time, it doesn't. But, for that one time it actually does go in, it's great. Alright, I think we'll need to switch in and get Magnazone, as we've been doing for these many other fights. Oh wow, Lava Plume. <laughs> That's not gonna be good for Magnezone. That is super effective. Owie. Ouch. Okay, well... We got our <laughs> light... Our Thunder Wave off. And now we just have to have Garchomp do... Full swipe, rinse and repeat, like we've been doing... All the other ones. Yo, Magnezone is confused. Well, that's interesting though that Entei has Swagger. That's... That's different. <laughs> Doesn't really make too much of a difficult capture, though. E unless your Pokemon hits itself a lot. But to get Swagger put on us and for our attacks to hit, since we're just using False Swipe, we don't have much to worry about there. Bam. First false swipe, and it's gonna stomp on us. <laughs> it's so funny to see Garchomp flattened like a pancake. That is kind of funny. But we got burn on us. I think I will use a full restore when we get down to low HP. Yeah. Okay. Alright, another false swipe. Here we go. Oh, now it's using swagger on us. <laughs> well... All it will do is make our attack stronger, as long as we don't hurt ourselves. So, I'll keep, I'll keep that status effect on as well, because I want to gamble and see if we hit ourselves or not. Because, Grad, if we do, I don't think we'll make ourselves faint, and then I'll, of course, use a full restore then. Okay, burn is courteous too. Yeah, so he. <laughs> Damages for poor Garchomp. Yeah, it's time for a full restore. Let's go and do that. Okay, Entei is using Bite, but we're really close to getting having enough of his HP down to start chucking Pokeballs on it, and I'll probably speed through that process. This one isn't as long as the other encounters, but I might as well do it for this one. Okay, we got a critical hit. Or he got a critical hit on us, I think. Alright, let's start with, of course, our Ultra Ball before we speed through. Maybe we'll get it in this one. Doubt it. Alright, one shake. Nope, not even a shake. <laughs> it broke free. Alright, well, we're gonna speed up about now.
Okay, let's go for a Dusk Ball. This is the one. <laughs> and... Wow, it's been shaking a lot. There we go! It's caught. Finally. <laughs> okay, well, that's Ente. Of course, lots of people gained many experience points, but uh, we skipped through that. Let's put Ente in a box. And, of course, run back to the final Pokemon we need to find in Green Worm Holes, and that's Cabalion. <laughs> Alright, a single worm worm hole, single ringed wormhole, here we go. Okay, uh, a little bit further than last time, 3,600. And of course we get that overwhelming presence. Now, needless to say, we do need to save first, as always. Also, your, every trip through the wormhole is not going to be you get your encounter. This is just from the power of editing magic. I had to go through many different wormholes in order to find all these legendary. It's not a fun process, and I don't want to add shiny hunting on top of that, because that's also not a fun process. Because <laughs> these captures take a while. Alright, Cabalion, that's our last one that we can catch in this game. And all the other ones I got in that event I was talking about earlier in the video. Alright, uh, back to the black and white music. Nice. Alright, Cabalion is here. And of course, let's go ahead and try that quick ball before we do anything else. And there... Oh, there it is, okay. Let's throw it. One, two, and what? It's actually going to work this time? <laughs> wow, Cabalion was caught. Well, that was, uh, very, <laughs> very good. You know, it's always rewarding when you try a quick ball every time and you finally get one quick ball. <laughs> All right. Well, we won't name it. You'll go to a box and that is everybody in green wormholes that you can encounter. I I salute you if you've made it through this entire video <laughs> and watched everything. I would feel so bad if you clicked through things and found where everything is because this is after all a almost 45 minute video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will catch you guys when we explore what happens in I think we're going to go after what goes in red wormholes next episode, and hopefully that doesn't take me over three months to make. Uh, I will hopefully I'll see you guys real soon, and as always, stay awesome out there, and bye for now.